In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get addicted to coding to get paid. So before we get into like how to get addicted to coding, we need to understand what an addiction is, how it works, what is the mechanism behind it. Because if I can get you addicted to coding, then you won't even feel the grind. You'll actually have a pleasure going in front of your computer, creating applications. And eventually a side effect of you doing this, having this habit formatted, is gonna lead to you having a job, which is gonna pay you a lot of money, which is gonna give you that lifestyle that you want. So let's see how addiction works. Addiction works in the following way. You do something and that thing feels good and your brain releases a chemical called dopamine. Essentially, every single thing that you do in your life is geared towards having that dopamine release. If you are a gamer, you know that whenever you win a game, you feel high right you feel like super excited you want to play another game even if you don't win the game the game is actually designed to give you some points xp points to make you addicted still and give you some sort of feeling of progression okay so it doesn't feel like you've wasted your time you grinded some xp points in social media whenever you scroll you get a new post which is releasing dopamine so that makes you want to scroll even more why do you think we have infinite scrolls instead of the pagination buttons because if you realize that you saw a thousand posts in the last two hours you'll actually stop but if you have the infinite scroll that makes you want to scroll more and more and more and more and more okay it gets you addicted to that same with food you feel sad you eat an ice cream you feel good for five minutes you release the dopamine and then you crash and then you know uh, it's quite bad our human body our brain is geared towards doing low effort actions to release that dopamine but you have to be smart about this and think about long-term gains and not just short-term gains i want you to start thinking about coding in this way instead of looking at i'm learning to code today and i'm gonna get my dream job in six months nine months 12 months from now well you won't be able to release the dopamine in those months the only thing that you want the only thing that you crave is that job and the only thing that's gonna make you happy is that job in these six months nine months 12 months 18 months 24 months whatever long it's gonna take you just feel pain and there is so much pain that you can tolerate mental pain that you can tolerate without releasing this dopamine until you quit so this is the wrong way to look at things you don't want to look at the big thing and the only thing that's going to motivate you is that big job that big paycheck at the end all you want to do is to figure out ways to win every single hour every single day every single week and every single month if you just started learning how to code your main objective is to show up okay just showing up for example you can show up every single day for 20 minutes so you have to make the barrier of entry so low that you can do it with no matter what learn how to code sit in front of your computer for 20 minutes every single day for the first 21 days until you install this habit in your brain then that means you are winning every day after a while you want to be able to progress through adding more and more hours and then when you look at this week you coded 10 hours this week versus last week seven hours that means you've increased inputs that means you won this game in this way so then your brain is going to release dopamine and it's going to feel like oh this actually was pretty easy then next week you'll be coding 20 hours a week then maybe 30 hours i don't know how much time you have during your week but this is what's gonna help you out another thing could be progressing through the chapters of this journey so you start with html and css then you go to javascript then you have react you don't even feel how good you got in the meantime if you've ever been on a diet every single day when you look in the mirror you kind of look the same right but when people that you know that haven't seen you in months see you again they'll be like whoa you lost a lot of weight or you put on a lot of muscle because they haven't seen you in this period of time and this is how it works with coding as well believe it or not you are progressing so much but you don't even feel it like if you know react right now and if you can build like some decent application with react you need to acknowledge the fact that few months ago you didn't even know how to put an image on the browser and that should make you like realize like oh shit i'm actually progressing maybe i'm not progressing as fast as i want to but i'm still progressing and i'm going somewhere another way to actually create some sort of games with yourself besides these basic ones would be to try to code as much as possible without checking any of the outputs so not using a console log or not actually looking in the browser to see the result of your code you need to learn how to read the code and understand the code to process the code in your brain as much as you can without checking the output if you are in my program 
if you're a student of mine, you noticed that I never really check what's happening with your code. I just check your code and I find problems just by looking at it. Why? Because I trained myself to not need the console, to not console log everything every single time, because that makes me faster. Every single time I have to check something that takes away time, takes away focus, takes away concentration, and that makes me slower. So then basically I train myself to not use the console to get faster. And that gives you a satisfaction of like, oh, I actually know my shit. And that's gonna make you want to do more. Another way to gamify this whole process is to actually give yourself tasks. Like for example, this week I wanna finish these three features for this application. No matter what, you have to do that. If you do that, if you actually tick off all those boxes that you said you're gonna tick off by the end of the week, you'll feel such a great feeling of accomplishment that nobody and nothing can be. You will end up becoming addicted to coding because of the way your brain chemistry actually works. Coding is a hard thing to do. It's one of the hardest skills to learn, believe it or not. It's probably top three, top five. I know about this and I'm still getting hacked by it, okay? Whenever I try to build a project for myself to solve a specific issue in my business, typically, I cannot go to sleep and I code for 16, 18, maybe even 24 hours. And I destroyed the next two or three days of my life because I, I have to do it. I have to finish the problem that I started. I wasn't born with it, I built it up and you can also do it. If you like this video, like it. If you have anything to add to this, comment and don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this. Apply for my mentorship program. That's the first link in the description. You can get more details once you booked, you'll actually see the entire program, you'll see our classroom, you'll see our community. There are some courses for free that you can check out. My commitment to you is to get your job ready in nine months or less. And if I fail to deliver that, I'm gonna give you all the money you've invested with me back, plus $5,000 for wasting your time. The reason why I'm so confident in this is because I've invested a lot of time, money and effort and energy into making it as good as possible, as good as it can be done. So you have no problems whatsoever. The only problem that you have is to actually do the work and show up, okay? So that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.